Hello, you're listening to a 107 audio cast. We're here today for a team member interview with Madeline Lowry, our technical project manager. I'm Ivan Segic, founder and president of 107. Hello, Madeline. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Fine, thank you. Let's jump right into it. When did you start at 107 and what were you doing prior to joining us? I started at 107 in July of last year. I had been working for another Drupal web services firm in the Twin Cities. I was looking for a new challenge. Challenge. Have you found your challenge? I did. It's a bigger space to occupy. I think that where I was before was a little bit slow and I was looking for bigger projects and I certainly found them here. We're glad to have you. Thinking back to when you decided to join us, because we weren't the only shop in town trying to get you, why did you join us? I really enjoy the vibe at 107, you know, just coming into the offices. Back then we had offices and just seeing the layout and appreciating the fact that the CEO, that's you, had set up the office so that everyone had the same amount of space, bright and open, and it was easy to see what was going on across the, the space. So we didn't have a CEO that had a corner office and a, you know, a big conference room dedicated for himself. It just seemed like a really egalitarian place to work, and I, I liked that. I also like the kind of clients that you have, nonprofits, educational companies. I thought that was a nice mix of client base and also the projects. They're very varied and go from sort of medium to larger size projects, whereas I've been working on mostly smaller projects before. You mentioned our space. Hopefully that's not a detractor now that we're newly distributed. What do you think has replaced that space for you being distributed? So we went from, you know, as I described as open, open space concept offices to now all working distributed, which means that we work from home or wherever we choose to. We could work from a coffee shop. We could work from a library. Or Hawaii. That's, I guess, what has replaced it for, for, for all of us. How does your daily routine differ from when you were in the office? My daily routine is much the same. I try to get in before a lot of most of the team to kind of review what's happened in the last day and gather my thoughts for the priorities for the coming days. And then I get the team started in the morning. We have a, a daily meeting called a stand up. At that meeting, we set priorities for the day for each developer. So, you know, I feel like my charge is to make sure we're working on the right stuff at the right time. And that everyone is happily busy, not overwhelmed, not underwhelmed, but has a good size piece of work on their plate, so to speak. And then do you kind of do the same thing later in the day or are there any other routines that you find yourself executing on? So after that, the day can really go in all kinds of directions, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's my stan that's standard opening to the day after that. I could be in client meetings. I could be working on marketing stuff. I could be uh, writing a blog post. I might be working on doing a site map for a client or creating tickets or updating tickets, reviewing work that's been uh, put on the release site You know, before the client gets to review it. Um, I might look at that first. And so it's really all kinds of things. It might be rejiggering priorities for the team or coming up with an estimate for a new project that we've heard about. You certainly are involved in uh, many aspects of 107, not just in project management. It's, it's very much appreciated. What is your favorite part of the day? I think my favorite part of the day is, is working with clients and helping them plan new sites. I really enjoy that, being a recovering marketer myself. <laughs> the challenge of you know, helping companies prioritize you know, what is most important to have on the homepage, for example, or sort of what pieces they want to feature and how the site should be organized, their business needs as well as their content needs. So I really enjoy all the, the voice of the customer stuff that we do and also the user experience work that we do. Thank you. Last question. What are you looking forward to over the next month? Now, that's a timely question because we're about to take a trip to Japan to say that it's my vacation that I'm looking for. <laughs> We're going to miss you. Well, thank you very much for your time. That brings us to the end of this audio cast. I'd like to thank Madeline for sharing today. Please visit us at 107.com and keep an eye out on the 107 blog for future audio casts. This is Ivan Stegic, and thank you for listening.